everybody has a Jordan story. So I'm interested to see, do you have one throughout your career of playing in the NBA of a, you know, personal story with Michael Jordan? Yes. Um, I, I, I've always said that uh, guys who end up being elite level players, the, their skill level matches, their bodies do. And when Michael went to Washington uh, to play for Washington, I was in the, at the Miami Heat, and I can't remember if it was my last year or second to last year. So it was at least my 10th season. I played 11 years, and uh, I'm guarding him out on the perimeter. By then, I had had uh, major knee surgeries, and I was missing my meniscus on my right side. So we were on the right side of the floor on the wing. He drove. I slid. He crossed me over. And because I couldn't catch myself because of my meniscus on that side to be able to recover, I fell down. He knocked down a 15 foot jump shot. <laughs> so I, I was part of having my ankles broken before the term even came to be. <laughs> Did he say anything to you when, when he hit the shot? He actually didn't. I appreciated that because uh, he's, he's also been very special to me because uh, one of the teams that I worked out for draft uh, was the Chicago Bulls and I was sitting on the floor after my workout and I uh, heard somebody kind of come up behind me and he patted me on he actually knew my name patted me on the head and told me uh, he wished me well so he's always had a special place in my heart because of that.